letting vegetables go bad in my fridge, and I also love quick, easy recipes, and this ticks both of those boxes. It's very simply roasted vegetables. It's the perfect thing to cook on a meatless Monday, say. It's a one-pot meal. Put everything in one pot, put it in the oven, and it's done within 45 minutes. So I very much want you to use what's in your fridge so that it makes it easy, but today I had courgettes, and when you're chopping everything, chop them up in large pieces so that they retain their shape. You don't want to get too mushy. And if you use small pieces, they tend to get mushy. So that's courgettes. This is red peppers and yellow orange peppers. It's nice to have as much of a rainbow of color as you can. Carrots. Now, some of the vegetables are gonna cook more quickly than others, and that's okay. The texture can't be unified throughout. So it's nice actually when you're biting to have one crunchy bit and one a bit softer, so don't worry about that. Onions, white onions and red onions. I've put three in. I always make quite a big dish of this because it is perfect thing to take to work the next day in a um, container at your desk. Fennel, which does stay really crunchy, adds a nice texture. And then you need garlic, so the easy thing is that you can just put the garlic in with their skins on, because as they heat, the garlic aroma infuses the whole dish. You don't need to spend a lot of time getting your hands smelly and peeling that off. And then basil. Now I put some basil in before I cook it, and then I put some in after. So I put a few leaves in, just tear it up. Okay. Then, you're going to drizzle over olive oil. Fair amount of olive oil, so everything is nicely coated. Some salt. And some oregano. Again, if there's a spice that you really like, use that, thyme, basil, or if you want to make it a bit spicier, add chili. Now, mix it together so that everything is covered with the spices and the olive oil. Put it in the oven for 45 minutes at 180, usually works really well. But check it, stir it a few times, because you don't want the vegetables on the top to get cooked the most, so you do want to turn it a few times. Then, when it comes out of the oven, what I like to do is put roasted pine nuts on the top and feta cheese, and that makes it a really filling, full meal. And it's vegetarian, perfect for those meatless Mondays.